sure what took these down. Some rockets, maybe airstrikes against ISIS when ISIS was here. Well, don't think insurance covers this one. I returned to Iraq a few days ago, and now the trainers have come in. We're going to start with three trainers. We'll eventually have five. All three of these trainers have experience in Iraq. But everything we do, you just translate into Arabic so they can see and understand what we're doing when we do it. The men we're training don't have experience in combat. They need to learn everything from how to properly wear a uniform, to how to march, how to properly use a weapon. Being a, in an abandoned town, the men can train in this sort of environment that they'll be fighting in. This is one of the streets that we do our training on. Nobody's living here now. They fled when ISIS attacked and they haven't been back. Things they own, photographs. Parts of their family photographs. Child shoe. Christian religious symbols. They heard ISIS was coming. And people just grabbed what they could and fled. Bill, in there. Coffins. We might not have a lot of time. There's rumors that operations may start within the next month or so. Instead of just calling in coalition airstrikes that will destroy a town in the process of saving it, they want to be able to go in and liberate their own homes and still have something left after the war. Ah! There are no other groups that are working with the Christian militias that we work with. You know, liberty is a universal right. I want solely to be able to change the course of history.